Oh, there's a crying baby. All the munchkins. I don't exactly know what I want this video to be and what I am going to say because I roughly know what I want to say, but I don't know how to. I will try. I am not a people person. I don't think I'm good with people. I never have been. I've constantly worried in the past about how to behave with people, what to say, what to do, and what they would think of me. And I always felt like I didn't quite match the expectations other people would have on me. But how can people have expectations on someone they don't know? Do you even have expectations towards people? Why do I feel like I have to match expectations? Or maybe I feel like I have to match other people, but then let's go back. I am the kind of person that doesn't know whether I love to be around people or I don't. Because there are days, weeks, in which I constantly have to be around someone because I feel like they give me energy, positivity, vitality. Most of the time, they make me feel better. For example, in these past weeks, I haven't been feeling at my best. I constantly felt like I was on, on the edge of a massive hole and I was about to fall down and I don't know why. As soon as I was with someone, as soon as I was with one of my friends, the problem just completely disappeared. It wasn't there anymore. I wasn't thinking about it and I wasn't feeling bad. And I do love being surrounded by people because they make me want to create, they make me want to do, they make me want to be a better me. I like sharing things with people, but at the same time, I'm the kind of person that finds being around people extremely exhausting. Because even though there are friends with which I feel confident and comfortable and I can just be myself and not worry and just do what I do, there are also friends that I do incredibly enjoy the company of but that I can't help but feeling worried around them about what I'm saying, what I'm doing, if I'm good enough, if, if I'm a good person enough, if I match their expectation, if I match what they want, if I match the company and I constantly struggle and think and think and think of like ways to improve my friendly ability and then what's even the point of it, but I end up exhausted and most of the time not even satisfied about what I've done. I recently started to accept that I am the way I am. If people like me for the person I am, fine. If they don't, I need to stop trying to please them. And it's something I've been telling myself for years and I don't know if I'll ever stop telling it. I do notice changings. I do notice that I'm feeling better around people and that people appreciate my presence more because I'm less worried. <laughs> I feel like social relationships and these kind of things are complicated. These kind of things can be draining and these kind of things got more complicated with the event of social networks as well. I think one of the issue is that we can constantly compare ourselves to other people. We constantly compare to someone that's better and the news is there is always someone that's gonna be better than us and then what's the point of even having to be better in a friendship? I'm not a good talker. I don't always have a joke ready. I do but only when I'm feeling confident and most of the time I look like a ridiculous idiot because when I'm feeling confident it means I can make fun of myself and when you see me making fun of myself it means that I'm the most confident I can ever be with you because I'm not worried you're gonna think that I'm a complete idiot with no life. It happened with my flatmates already that I came home after a really busy day and I was so tired and to me, interact with them, talk to them, tell them about my day was exhausting, was tiring. So I would just go in the kitchen, make myself some food, bring it in my room and binge on Netflix or read the book or play Pokemon or just lie in my bed and scroll on my phone because what is social life? Why do we feel like we never fit? Why do we feel like we never belong? Who decides where you belong? I feel like we should just accept who we are and that we work for some people, we don't work for other ones and that's absolutely fine because um, you motherfucker. I just feel like probably not, I'm not the kind of person that can be described as a people person. I know that I can go from one side to the other because I can be extremely energetic, extremely bouncy, extremely positive, extremely exploding and I can be an absolute vegetable just 
staying there, minding my own business, shutting up and looking around, not even trying to interact with anyone because I don't know what I could possibly have to say that would be interesting. So if I'm asking you a lot of questions, it's because I probably really care about having a conversation with you and I'm trying to break my boundaries and interact with the fuck invented interactions. Stop worrying and start enjoying. That's my quote of the day. Yes, it is. You can write it on a poster. I want to be on a poster. Can I be on a poster? Write it on a poster, guys. I just feel like there's no point in trying to please other people because what's the point in having to be friends with someone that doesn't really like you? Do you even want to be friends with someone like that? How does friendship even work if one of the two doesn't like you? That doesn't sound like friendship to me. so much like deodorant and my eyes are watering so yeah these were my thoughts about like interacting with people so let me know what you think let me know how you feel are you this kind of person that doesn't know whether you like or not people are you are you shy are you just not good at interacting don't you like people don't you like interacting would you want to do it more do you worry i think worrying about these kind of things is normal but i'm not the best parameter for normality and i'm <laughs> still eating the deodorant with this, I will leave you and I will see you in my next video. So thank you for sticking around, I will see you soon and booyah! Hello Munchkins, today this is a useful video because you see, sometimes I do make useful videos. Basically a lot of you have been asking me advices on how to stop procrastinating.